Hello, welcome to Unicorn Princess Tarot. So, ito pang ating general love reading para sa mga Taurus. Kapalaran sa pag-ibig. This is for the month of November 2021. Take only what resonates. Hindi ito magre-resonate sa lahat. So, kunin mo lang yung messages na magre-resonate para sa'yo. By the way, sa mga hindi pa nakaka-subscribe, hopefully mag-subscribe kayo sa ating channel. Ma-appreciate ko lahat ng likes, comment, shares. Lahat na yan. Okay? So, pwedeng maging ito yung person mo, Taurus, at hindi ikaw. So, bahala ka nang ilagay ang sarili mo sa sitwasyon dahil pwede magkapalit-palit ang roles depende sa nangyayari sa'yo. Ma-appreciate ko lahat ng likes, guys, ha? At saka comment and subscription ninyo. And may iba pa tayong channel, please do check it out dyan sa description box. Start na natin ang reading. This is for Taurus for November 2021. Kunin mo na natin yung energy mo. Pwedeng maging ito yung person, ito yung person mo, Taurus, at hindi ikaw. Or pwedeng maging ikaw to cross-watcher. Three of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Clarify lang natin yan. Three of Cups and the Eight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy, the Queen of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. Um, for what I can see here, possible na you want to reunite with someone, reconcile. Meron kang someone or something na iniisip ngayon na parang gusto mong balikan, gusto mong makipag-reconcile. But, but with the Eight of Swords, maybe you're not being honest sa sarili mo, hindi ka nagiging honest sa ibang tao or sa kanya mismo dahil with the queen of pentacles maybe you are uh, focusing on your stability on your money on your career ayan a very hard working kind of person that is you okay napakaganda na sinasabi dito with regards to your money by the way may nakikita ko dito ng person na parang isa lang yung hikaw okay nasa isang tenga lang this could be your reading but anyway yeah sa so, nakikita natin dito Yeah, and someone na may parang garater yung suot niya sa kanyang damit, yung upper, upper na damit. Parang may garter sa sleeves or sa manggas. This could be your reading. Anyway, uh, you're focusing on your money. You're focusing on your career. Tapos itong person mo, maybe you want to reconcile, bumalik, or ala naalala mo pa rin yung nakaraanin yung dalawa. A very friendly kind of energy. For some of you, this is a friend na gusto mong balikan. Okay? Or or kausapin, or maging maayos yung sa inyo, pareho. Okay? And, alamin naman natin sa person mo, who is this person that you're dealing with? For your person with the four of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy, and with the ten of pentacles, could be dealing with another earth sign. Um, sa nakikita natin, yung person mo is not being honest with you. Hindi rin siya nagiging honest sa tao sa paligid niya. Your person is focusing dito sa pag-iipon. Pwede may kinalaman sa pag-iipon na may kinalaman sa pamilya. And with the ace of pentacles, yeah, your person is focusing sa kanyang money. And sa pinan natin, gusto mo mahipag, mahipag reconcile sa person na ito. Pero yung person mo is hindi siya nagiging totoo. Maaaring masyado siyang makasarili in a way na pwedeng sarili niya lang yung iniisip niya. And maaaring kung ano man yung problem sa inyong dalawa ay nakikita niya itong problema ito na big deal kasi iniisip niya yung magiging sitwasyon niya, yung magiging, um, magiging katayuan niya, ba diba? And uh, your person is thinking about his health, his or herself, no? Sarili niya lang ang iniisip niya muna dito. Now, ano yung nasa isip mo? Alamin natin. For Taurus, please. Okay. Uh, you do have here the Seven of Swords and the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, you're focusing on your business, on your money, and with the Seven of Swords, yung... I feel like you're not happy kung nasaan ka ngayon because you see this person na parang wala siya eh. Siya yung gusto ko and gusto kong makausap and gusto kong may pag-reconcile dito sa taong to. Pinipilit mo yung sarili mo na mag-focus kung nasaan ka ngayon pero deep inside you knew na hindi mo magawa or hindi mo 
uh, makuha na completely makalimutan itong taong to. Alam mo, bumabalik at bumabalik siya sa isip mo at gusto mong bumalik sa kanya or gusto mong magkaayos kayong dalawa. Okay? Hindi anyway, may nakita akong, I don't know, kabaong. This could be reading. So, has something to do, to do with kabaong. So, or kandila. Yeah. Ngayon, pumunta tayo sa person mo. Nasa isip niya, nine of cups. The hanged man. Your person is waiting for something. Naghihintay siya. Tinatry niyang i-open ang sarili niya sa iba. Mm-hmm. Nasa isip niya is like to wait for something. Meron siya mga bagay na hinihintay. Your person is really dishonest. Hindi siya totoo sa sarili niya. Ano yung hinihintay niya? Why is this connection on pause? Yung iba sa inyo, wala kayong communication itong person na ito. Yeah, because there's some kind of ending na nangyayari dito sa inyong dalawa. So also, your person is waiting for that kind of ending. May ending na sa inyong dalawa. Meron pa siyang something na mag, hinihintay na mag-end. Okay, sorry about that. Medyo maingay. I can smell someone na parang kumakain ng prito. Parang lechong kawali. Something to do with some, uh, some, uh, food na pinrito ng nakalubog sa mantika. This could be your reading. Alamin natin kung ano yung emotions ng person mo for you. The Ace of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands, and the Eight of Wands. Your emotions for your person. Bottom of the deck is the Knight of Pentacles. I feel like you're working on yourself. Dino try mong maging buo ng sa sarili mo lang. Um, more time sa social media uh, or 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 being happy. I can see you being happy. You're still holding on dito sa person na ito. Kasi with the eight of wands, I feel like pwedeng yung mga tao sa paligid mo, yung family mo or yung friends mo, pwedeng alam nila na may connection kayong dalawa. So you're still holding on. You're not letting go. And yung person mo with the ace of swords, yung emotions niya for you is that. Gusto niyang ibalik kung ano yung mga ibinigay mo sa kanya. Or gusto niyang ring ibigay kung ano yung mga dating ibinigay mo sa kanya. Give and take. Equal, equal give and take. Ace of Swords. I feel like... Let me clarify. That's with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, your person is really sad. Lagi ka nasa isip nitong person na ito. Lagi ka nasa isip nitong person mo. Tinatry niya mag-focus sa money. Pero your person still thinks about you a lot. Lagi kanya iniisip. Now what will happen in the near future for the both of you? Your person is like... Masyado siya nakatingin sa realidad eh. I can see new people na dumadating sa'yo. This could be immature people or person na dumadating sa'yo. Uh, sa buhay mo. Yeah, a new person is coming. And yung itong past person mo, whatever nangyari sa inyong dalawa, whatever happens between the two of you, feeling niya nag-end na yun. And in the near future, nakikita natin nag end it is, And it is because yung person mo, anumang offer or sinabi mo sa kanya, mas nakikita niya yung reality. Yung realidad. Sa, sa realidad siya nakatingin. And what's with the... Uh, By the way, hindi ko ito kukunin na. Let me shuffle the cards. Okay. Okay. One last shuffle. Who is this new person? 
May bagong person dumadating sa buhay mo? This person is not happy. Hindi siya masaya. Um, kaya maybe your person is, you know, possible na uh, hindi siya masaya in a way na meron siyang bisyo and kaya niya ginagawa yung bisyo na yon in order for him or her to be happy. Pwedeng pag-iinom. Kasi gusto niya masaya eh. Kasi nangihinayang siya. Pwedeng sa oras panahon with the eight of pentacles. Okay? Um, medyo ikaw yung apple of the eye nitong person na ito. Nakamassage siya sa'yo. Nakatingin siya sa'yo. Interesado siya sa'yo. There's this person. There's this person. And pinipilit niya rin <laughs> pinipilit niya rin makipag-connect sa iba with the eight three of pentacles. But your person still sees you with the queen of pentacles. Uh, may bagong person na tumitingin sa'yo. Okay? So that's it for now. Thank you for watching. I love you all and bye-bye.